Hello, this is Lord Sycamore. Welcome to the Understory Podcast. Today, with two special guests, my friend Bo and my dad Jeff, we'll dig into the story under the song for New Dawn, track four from my debut album, Child Coming Home. This is Lord Sycamore. Today I have with me a very special guest, my friend Bo. Bo and I go way back to college. We were both music majors. Even when we were doing a bunch of moving around, we um, stayed in touch over the years, which was a big blessing to me. Hi, Bo. Hey, Nate. I'm thinking back to when this song was born in 2017. When you came into the story, Bo, I was just working out chords. Do you remember where we were? fall 2017 something like that yeah i think uh i had just been in mexico for a couple of years and decided to try to study something in new york which was pretty close to you in pennsylvania i was looking for a place to stay so i put in my apartment application and then fled to your house <laughs> to sort of await the verdict and so i think that was the context we had some time and space together I think for me, it was right before I was starting a new school year, which is always a pretty stressful time, but also like a weirdly spacious time. It seemed like it was kind of the same for you, like a, a waiting period, while also like a lot of, I don't know if you'd say anxiety about what was next. Yeah, for sure. And it was interesting that we were not only sharing like the physical space of my new apartment, because we just moved in there but also like the similar headspace of what's coming next. Yeah, I guess so. I hadn't thought about that. That may be why um, New Dawn was such a, a good point of connection for us uh, mm. in our, our two different trajectories. What do you remember about <laughs> the actual music as we were putting it together? Mm. You had a guitar in your house with some old strings, but it was a right-handed guitar, and I play lefty. Oh, yeah. So I was limited to very basic structures. Yeah, in fact, I think uh, maybe that actually helped find the first chord change, which is my favorite chord change. I think it started out playing on an E and then just like slid the E up, like a half step or a full step. I don't remember, but it gave it this like minor dissonance somehow, which reminded me a lot of... Uh, the first chord progression, I believe, in the song Creep from Radiohead. Oh, wow. I never, didn't make that connection, but yeah, that's a pretty similar sound. Yeah. So, sort of a mournful and moody, but also not not sentimental. Like it's more, gr more on the grungy side, I guess. And yeah. I think we just sat down in your kitchen and I was ripping away at the old strings on the radio head chord progression and you know changing it a bit and, and it came together and then you're like let's sing a harmony at this point i think i got out my keyboard which was sort of set up on top of the couches or behind the couches in this tiny alcove you had a bunker a keyboard bunker <laughs> behind the couches and we these harmonies we worked out i, I think i'm singing the lead you started singing the harmony line yeah and they were very closed harmonies i just remember how nice those sounded on the keyboard um but <laughs> how ultimately they didn't sound good this is where <laughs> the the um third and powerful force came in which was my wife's preference <laughs> <laughs> she did not like our harmonies <laughs> no no i don't think so <laughs> She she's the truth bearer. She bears the truth regardless. Yeah, and I so I I need both as an artist, friends to support me when I'm trying something crazy, and friends to say that's too crazy. <laughs> and you need your other friends who are more talented. <laughs> yeah, which she did. The guitar was missing some screen, strings. I might have said that already. I think, mm. but really, all that mattered were the lower strings, which gave it that sort of depth and grunge. And I think the reason it didn't quite work, maybe harmonically, 
to Kate's ears and sort of to my ears a little bit after listening, but I like it still. Yeah, yeah, me too. I think everything's so close. All the harmonies, like the, the, the guitar is right in our vocal range. Hmm. And the harmonies are close together. So it's like a lot of notes crammed into the same octave. Either way, yeah, I, I'm really grateful for you helping me to bring that into the world and to really get a mood attached to it. Mm. Um, when I was working on the rap lyrics on long car drives uh, soon after that, it really started from the same emotional place that your harmonies and your chords gave, mm. that sort of melancholy, grungy, dark space. So certainly it would it was an invaluable part that mm. and and if nothing else just a good way to connect with you about where we were both headed and be working together on something in, yeah in the present if nothing else just the friendship that we have creates a, a comfortable space to actually try new things yeah before new dawn i don't think i'd ever really done like a rap slash song or like i'd either tried a piece of one or a piece of the other and yeah that was the direction i i felt like i needed to go and just knowing that you were going to go there with me of course um, i think helped get it going for sure all right bo well i love you thanks for taking the time to talk yeah buddy i do appreciate that love you too man bye Hello and welcome to the Understory Podcast. This is Lord Sycamore. Today I have a very special guest, my dad, Jeff. Hi, Dad. Hey, Nate. Thanks for asking me on. Sure. Well, it was such a privilege to me to get to come to this song and to realize what a gift your involvement was. This song wouldn't exist without your story. So I was wondering if you could tell a little bit of the story of those lyrics from the chorus that you you gave me um had a a job that uh was terminated first time i'd ever been fired and i it was surprising because i helped this gentleman uh double his business and bring in a lot of things that he hadn't had in 25 years of being in business and it was um someone in the company that was being deceptive and so it was, it was a surprise, but um, I was also striving to do another type of work, but I wasn't ready to do that. So it was a transition that I wasn't ready to make. And as, as I was released, um, I, I was a little bit in limbo and just said, what's going on here, Lord? And I, and I just, in prayer and study, I just recognized that you know, tomorrow's a new day. It's a, it's a new dawn. Uh, I need to move on. So how do I move on? How do I, in the new day is, is I have to continue to come back to God and say, I, you know, I can't do it. I need your help and film, film me again. But you said every day is a new day. Every day is a, is a new time for me to change and to become more like you. And though I, uh, bear the scars or the wounds of, of in the body or in the mind or in the heart, I can, I can still go on because you use all those things. I, yeah. I don't understand it all the time, but I do know that you're, you're faithful in what mm. you told, what you said you would do. Mm. Just like God makes the, the, the new day daily. We've got to say to God daily, Lord, what's your will today? Help me to do your will today. I'm struck by one thing you said, in telling your story that um, in prayer and study, you you got those words. And I'm wondering, like if somebody found themselves in the same place and they didn't quite know, how would I pray about something like this? Mm -hmm. how, how would you do that? Right. Sometimes you, you have to s spill what's in your head, in your heart, your mind. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to, to talk out loud, um, go before the Lord and say, I don't understand. I, I'm I'm in just can't understand what needs to happen. F hmm. Fully get out what you have on your your mind and your heart, and then you need to listen. Hmm. How do you uh, uh, how how have you grown in in this in the writing of this song? I mean, you 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 took it to a whole nother level than my simple lyrics I gave you. So uh, hmm. how how did you uh, extract more meaning out of these? 
So I, I was going through not so much losses, just change. That was when we had first moved. The job was hard for me. And there were a lot of mornings where I'd get up and be walking to school um, before like the sunrise even. 10, ten degrees. <laughs> yeah, some, some days very cold and and just like, oh man, you woke up today with no sunlight for your eyes. And so as soon as you gave me the lyrics as, as like bright and aspirational as they were, mm-hmm. that's just not where I was at starting mm-hmm. off, but it's where I wanted to get to. And this is what happened, had to happen every morning. I had to like walk through this every single day. I'd wake up sort of glum. And by the time I got to work, um, I'd have to have like, looked looked up in a sense Mm -hmm. often the sun would have risen at some point during that walk in james talking about the father of the heavenly lights i had to recognize this today has to be about god's goodness and not about my feelings about Mm -hmm. my situation because um my feelings are not what are what's true in, in the sense of like what's what's unchanging, but it, right. it says God doesn't change like shifting shadows. Right. So he, his character is unchanging. And in in James one, when this comes into the second verse of the song, it says that every good and perfect gift mm-hmm. is from above, from the Father of the heavenly lights. Like we look right. up, and mm-hmm. the brightest things, the most beautiful, the most luminous things we can see, even those come from someone even more so. Yeah. I think of the. Uh, passage where jesus says if you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will god give the holy spirit to those who ask him and it's and it's not anything you you conjure up in your head or you make up or you you have happy sayings around your office it's it it's a it's an internal uh working of the holy spirit and we have to we have to open that door for him to do that Mm. uh i can't i can only conjure up so much energy to to be happy um, I, I need uh, a filling and it's my own, it's my prerogative. And that's God's, God's way of allowing us to come to him. If, if I don't, then I'm, I'm, I'm still remaining in my, my, my bitterness, my anger. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't exhibit the fruit of the spirit without hmm. the, the spirit. I'm, I'm struck by one thing you said about not always being happy. Mm-hmm. Like James one talking about, consider it all joy when you face trials of every kind. And um, I wonder if you could make a distinction between happiness and joy. Happiness is ultimately what's happening to me and uh, me allowing to come into me. Joy is no matter what's going on that I I know I'm secure in Christ and I'm secure in um, my knowledge of the future because of him. My hope is in Christ and, and what he's doing in me that sanctification he's he's bringing things into my life in order to make me more like him you know he's 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 never really interested in our comfort he's <laughs> he's most he's mostly interested in our character god will bring those things in our lives because he wants us to be effective for him and ultimately for the kingdom and for other people i i appreciate you referencing the kingdom because um one of the things i was struck by from your lyrics was that last line about move on Mm -hmm. for all of the discussion of progress in society, politics, whatever else, it's not always totally clear what the progression is towards. Mm -hmm. When you had those words, move on in your mind, what is the moving on towards? Is it another job? Is it another better situation or what did you have in mind? Yeah, absolutely. It was those things, but it's also, so the, Beatitudes that we would probably refer to in this whole thing. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit. Or for those, there, there's the kingdom of heaven. Or, or those who mourn, uh, they will be comforted. And and he, if he says this is what my kingdom looks like, and when he's, you know, before he's crucified, and he's before Pilate, and, and he says, do you know I have the power of, of to to take your life? And Jesus says, I, I can, my father can send legions of angels. This is not, but this is not my kingdom. So it puts everything on its head. And if we truly take Jesus' words that were um, our reward, we're laying up treasure in heaven, then the meek will inherit the earth. Mm. So uh, the same respect in the song, 
we get you get a look forward to this new heaven, new earth, this new life. But that's then that's the then. The now is I have to continue to yield myself to the Lord so that every day I'm more like him. And that's really the most powerful thing for me, you know, in, in that in those lyrics for me. Yeah, I appreciate that. Life isn't fair and other people aren't fair. And yet we still have to respond in the right way. Right, Ooh. right. I, I was appreciating what you were saying about hardships coming to us from the hand of a father. Endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as sons. As a son, yeah. And, he, yeah. and you're not a son if he doesn't discipline you. Part of parenting is, and physical parenting is, is being able to say, you need to trust the hand of your dad hmm. that this is not good for you. And no matter how good a parent you you think you are or aren't, um, we, we have to continue to take it, you know, um, a gander at scripture on how God uh, parents his, his children. And hmm. some of it's pretty hard. So right. and Jesus himself was disciplined without sin. Hmm. We can't see Jesus discipline as a correction to his wrongdoing. Hmm. He's taking that weight on, though he himself was not disobedient. He totally understands the the pain. We know we're under grace now, so we appreciate grace. We appreciate that we're that we have forgiveness and grace, and that we're not we're not under the Old Testament mm-hmm. law in the sense of that. Jesus fulfills fulfills all of those those covenantal things, and then he he brings in love now, love your enemy, or <laughs> uh, to to if your if your enemy is hungry, feed him. That doesn't make oh. sense. I had a conversation with somebody the other day. So what's this whole thing of walking two miles? I'm like, well, the, the the Roman soldier legally could make you carry his pack a mile legally, and Jesus says, if if a man, if someone asks you to carry his pack a mile, you carry it too. So you, so love and cool. the 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 clear uh, grace of God is in doing more than people ask for. So we should be the best employees, the best caretakers of the earth. If, <laughs> if God treats us well like that, then we should treat all things that way. Yeah, that's that same passage Jesus is saying, um, your father sends rain on the evil yeah. and the good alike. Mm-hmm. Like So you, mm-hmm. should, you should show good to those who right. are evil. I appreciate mm-hmm. the, the direction that this conversation has taken, focusing so much on God's fatherhood, because... For me, I think a lot of the time, especially when I read a passage like the Beatitudes, it's talking about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I read those as a bunch of rules from a king, which they are, and they need to be obeyed. And yes, God can give us any circumstances he wants. He's got the divine authority. But there's this whole other element which is revealed to us in the sun coming, which Mm -hmm. is Mm -hmm. that God is not only our king, but he's our father. Right. And all of these things are for our good right. um, so that we can we can grow up to be like him. Yeah. So it's especially special for me that you are the one who's helping me to make the song and to make those connections. Right. So yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, I'm really grateful for the conversation we had. And God bless you as you're doing your work these days. Mm-hmm. Thank um, you. Thank you for for uh, sharing that with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for asking me. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this story, please consider purchasing my music or donating to this work through my Patreon. Either way, I hope this was a gift to you and that you were encouraged by it. Have a good day and God bless.